Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coralie and today we are going to be budgeting. So I am moving out of home very soon, hopefully this month. I'm currently building a house and it is getting close to being ready. So I want to go through and figure out my expenses and how much all of this is going to cost me so i thought we could do this together because i have been loving all the monthly reset videos going around on youtube where everyone is open about their finances and their budgets and all that sort of stuff and i think that is very important so without further ado let's open every dollar and let's do a little bit of budgeting so i've never really been a budget person before but seeing as i'm now going to have a lot of expenses this is probably the best way to do so so are we screen recording yes we are screen recording so we are in october and we're going to start by adding in my paychecks so paycheck one is from my nine to five work and i get $813 every week and in October there are four Wednesdays so there are four paydays so let's do some quick math here that'll be $3,252 and that money is guaranteed that is the good thing about a full-time job I have that stability so next is freelance work and I've been very lucky with freelance work lately and I've been doing quite well. So I'm going to say for October, I will make around $3,000 from freelancing. Now I have a few more paychecks I can add in. So I'm gonna put in Skillshare. I get around 200 a month from Skillshare. This is the juicy stuff. Do you guys want to know how much I make from YouTube? <laughs> is it in the thousands? No, I'll be lucky if I make $100, <laughs> but that is still very cool. And I have one more paycheck that I should be getting this month. I did some videography last month, which I have a paycheck coming in, and I'm also doing a photography gig, which I'm being paid for. So I'm going to say $200. Okay, so that gives me $6,752 to play with, and to be honest, that is a mind-boggling amount of money for me. I have never been making this much money in my life. It is insane, and I'm very grateful, but we're about to have a lot of expenses, so let's go through and do that. Okay, so for mortgage... I'm going to start off by saying around 400 a week. So I'm going to dedicate 1600 to my mortgage. And my mortgage is something I would like to pay off quickly. If I have extra money, I want to put it into my mortgage and paying that off because I would love to invest in property and have another investment place and all that sort of stuff. But first of all, I need to pay down my mortgage. So I'm going to start with 1600 and we'll go from there. Okay, so moving out of home, I've never had a water bill, I've never had a gas bill, I've never had an electricity bill, and I've never had to pay council rates before. So I'm kind of guessing here. I was talking to my dad and we were trying to figure out. So we've ballparked numbers. This is for a whole month. And I'm gonna say for water to be safe, I'm gonna say $70. Now, if we're being honest, I am kind of going into this blind. I actually have no idea how much all this stuff is going to cost. That is the joys of moving out of home for the first time. Gas, I'm going to say $40 a month. Electricity, I'm going to say $100 a month because my dad was telling me that you have to pay a flat rate for electricity whether you use any electricity or not. Which seems rude. <laughs> And lastly is council rates. Now I'm moving to somewhere that is quite expensive in terms of council rates. So this is going to get me, this is going to get me good, but this is going to be around 150 a month. The quarterly, the, the quarterly prices on this place, she's expensive, but it's going to be a beautiful place to live. So I'm willing to pay that. 
So next we go down to transportation and for petrol, I'm going to say about $80 because from where I live currently, I have to fill up every single week because I'm going to and from work and that's around $40, $50 a week. And when I move house, I'm going to be very close to my work, so I'm not going to be needing as much petrol, so I shouldn't need to fill up anywhere near as often. So I'm going to budget $80. And in terms of rego, that comes out every three months. So if I put away $50 a month, that should be enough to cover a $150 rego bill in three months' time. And in terms of maintenance, oh my god, my car could break down. <laughs> tomorrow and I wouldn't be surprised so let's just chuck a little cheeky 50 bucks in there okay groceries let's start with dinnerly let me explain so I really want to try dinnerly for the first few weeks when I move out because I just want to get a hang of cooking for myself every night all that sort of stuff and this seems like the easiest way to do so so dinnerly is around I think it's like 54 bucks a week. So if I times that by four, I worked out it'll be around $220. Now that is quite expensive, but this dinner wee box is for two people. <laughs> Honey, I am one person, so therefore I'm getting dinner, I'm getting lunch out of every single meal that I cook. So I wanna try that for a few weeks. I'm not gonna do this for the rest of forever I'm just going to build up my recipe knowledge and then I'm going to cancel my dinnerly subscription but I'm still going to need some groceries because your girl loves her cereal I'm going to say I didn't get that could you try again well I wasn't talking to you but okay I'm going to say around uh, 120 which will be around 30 bucks a week again I don't really know if that's going to be enough or if that's going to be too much. I'm doing this all for the first time <laughs> and it's going to be confronting but I'm going to take you guys along with me and we can figure out all these expenses together. So next is personal. Have I got internet down here? I think I need... Okay, we'll get to that. Next is personal. Now I'm going to start with the expenses that I know I have. My phone bill is $50 a month. My subscriptions, I have YouTube Premium, Spotify, which is like my fun subscriptions, and then I have Epidemic Sound and Adobe for more work stuff. So I don't actually know how much of that is. I'm going to say 50 bucks a month. And we'll move on from there. Okay, pet care. I'm going to say $20 a month. I'm getting my sister's cat, but the deal behind that was she's going to pay for the cat's food and everything because it's her cat. I'm only taking the cat because the cat meows so loudly it wakes the baby up. So I'm going to take the cat, but she's going to continue paying for it. But obviously... I will still buy some stuff for the cat and my dog will come and visit. Money will come out of that. Next is gym. Actually, before we forget, let's add in internet up here. I th I'm assuming 80 bucks. That's around what we pay at home. I might be able to get a better deal. I'm not too sure, but for now I'm going to say 80 bucks a month for unlimited home internet. Okay, where were we? Gym. So I'm going to be joining a gym. Well, I want to join a gym. And it is $17 a week. And what I like about this gym is it has classes, group classes every single day, like cardio classes, strength classes. And oh my God, do I miss boot camp like crazy. So I do really well in group classes. So I really want to join this gym and try it out. And at $17 a week, it works out to around $72 a month. And that is something I am willing to pay because you should invest in my health and fitness, ladies and gentlemen. And I did think about joining F45. That's like 60 bucks a week. So $72 a month, freaking bargain, my dude. <laughs> Next is medicine. So I have a couple 
pes 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 prescription? Is that what they call it? Subscript? Prescript? I have a couple medicines. I've got my <laughs> anxiety pills. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And I have my birth control. So birth control is every three or four months. My anxiety pills every month. So I'm going to say... 30 bucks. We'll go with that. <laughs> Moving on. Health insurance. I pay... $42 a fortnight for my health insurance, so I'm going to say 84 Um, Home insurance I don't have yet. When I get the keys, I'll have home insurance. My dad estimates around $100 a month. We're going to go with that. Car insurance. I am paying this already, but I can't remember how often I'm paying it. I think it's $20 a fortnight. I should know this. I really should. It's my money. But I'm going to say $40. Mm -hmm. mm, we'll go with that. Okay, investments. Now, this is something I have recently gotten into and I'm kind of obsessed. I am doing stock market investments through Sharesies and I'm doing crypto investments through SwiftX, which... I do have a referral code down below. If you use my code and sign up for SwiftX, you will get $10 of Bitcoin, which is very cool. So for stock investments, I think I want to do at least 500 a month. I'd like to do 100 a week. Sometimes I might put in more, sometimes I might put in less, but I'd like to keep it somewhere around there. And for crypto... I'm really enjoying crypto at the moment because I'm seeing it go up, but I know that you shouldn't invest more in crypto than in the stock market. So as much as I want to match it, I think I'm going to go with like 150, although I have put in more than 150 already this month. <laughs> I'm having fun, okay? It's very enjoyable. I'm going to go with that. That is my basic investments. I don't have any debt, thankfully. I mean, I've got my student loans, but that comes off automatically from your paycheck because we have a great system here in Australia. Other than that, I don't have any credit debt, nothing like that. We can get rid of that one. So that is a basic overview of all my expenses. So let's see, we've got 6,752 take 3096 that is $3,656. So, I mean, she's expensive, but we can manage. If I need to cut back, if I lose all my freelance jobs, like, yes, I can cut back. I can cut the Dinnerly subscription. I can cut some of my fun subscriptions, like Spotify, all that sort of stuff. But that looks like that is what it's going to cost me to move out of home. So I need to keep my freelance work up <laughs> so that I can afford this. But if I keep this sort of earning potential up, I have a lot of money left over. And I think what I'll do with that money is I will save most of it. I'll put some towards paying off my mortgage because I want to get that out of the way I want to pay that off as quick as possible and I'll also put maybe a little bit extra into stocks I reckon yes that is what we'll do but I would like to keep obviously my bank account at a decent number emergency funds all that sort of stuff but that is my budget for moving out of home is this what it's actually going to be like? I am not totally sure. I will update you guys when I get my first water bill, my first electricity bill, when I find out how much I'm actually spending on groceries and all that sort of stuff. I might have a roommate. There's a girl from work who's looking for a place. If she can't find a place before my house is ready, she's welcome to come stay in my spare room and she'd probably pay around 150 a week in terms of rent so that would help out a lot i'd put that straight towards the mortgage that would be like 600 dollars a month let's just add that in real quick let's see what that would do that 
that would be nice. <laughs> but that is not certain. That will be a week by week basis. I might have a roommate. She might help out a little bit. But other than, oh, whoops, what did I do? Other than that, that is my budget. Then moving out of the home. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's going to be such a good month. Let's see how we go sticking to it. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this open, honest money conversation. I might start doing these monthly resets myself and do my goals and all that sort of stuff because I've been loving watching them on YouTube. And I think it's fun to see how other people budget their money. So let me know if you want to see this at the end of every month. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.